guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video so we are going to do um a grocery haul meal plan but also have a thrive market haul to share with you haven't been to thrive market in or well, haven't been <laughs> i haven't ordered from thrive market for a very long time and i'm paying for membership so i need to pay attention to all those emails and texts and stuff I get where they say they're having all these great holiday sales or just sales in general. So that's the one great thing about Thrive Market is it has sales all the time. Like you hardly ever have to pay their like regular price on anything. So, you know, if you ever um, want to try it out, you can try it out for, I think you can go on there and try it out for like a month and before you pay for like the annual, the annual membership is the cheapest of course, but definitely try it out. I do have a link down below that will give you a discount um, on your first box um, if you try it out using my code. So try it out because there's lots of great products. And if you're like me and you live in an area where it's really hard to get some, you know, type specialty type products, um, lower calorie, lower carb, um, just healthy, um, those types of products, it's really hard in my area to get those types of things. So I like Thrive Market for that purpose. And when I signed up for it, I got it for a really good price. Um, for They had like a huge sale. So right now they probably have a ton of sales going on right now because they usually do around the holidays. So definitely check it out. So check out my link down below. Um, I am getting ready to go out and grocery shopping. Oh my gosh, it's so cold outside. Not looking forward to it. Um, I'm just doing um, my Kroger pickup and then I have to go to Safeway to get a few things. I do have to go to Walmart later, but I'm gonna do that later. I have some crafting supplies I need to pick up. So I'm gonna do that, but that's why I'm all bundled up today. So I forgot to show you guys my puzzle yesterday. So in today's video, I will show you my Advent puzzle for days seven and eight. Um, so let's go ahead and show you the T for, oh no, eight and nine, <laughs> eight and nine. So today is day nine. So I'll show you day eight and nine. Um, so let's see our tea. Ooh, this one's pretty. This is Supreme Matcha Green. So this is today's Advent calendar tea. So we have this one. I like matcha tea sometimes. Um, I've, there's been some I don't like, but I just love their packaging. It's so, so pretty. So we have that, and then we will do day nine of the Advent puzzle. I'll put a clip of that right after this one and um so you can see that but first let's go ahead and go through all these goodies from thrive market most of the stuff is brand new to me uh, i've never seen the stuff before and i was really excited to find quite a few of the things and especially one of them so let's go ahead and show you these first three things here and i'll tell you they do such a great job of packaging if you ever order any like glass type stuff they wrap them really well i don't think i try to think i don't think i ordered anything like in a bottle or glass or anything this time but i was just literally looking at nutrition the other day um, because i wanted to order some more of the fiber gourmet pasta that i really like it's low calorie it's low carb it's like half the amount of carbs half the amount of calories as regular pasta now this one it's not as quite of low calorie, but it is still really low carb. So when I was on Thrive Market, I saw these, I was like, oh, I've never seen this before on there before. Um, so instead of ordering on nutrition, I went and just picked it up on Thrive Market. So this is high protein, which I don't think the fiber gourmet is high protein. I don't think it is. I, it may be, I, I may be totally wrong. I, I haven't had it in so long. I may be completely wrong. But this is, this one right here is Fusilli. It's 20 grams of protein, six grams of net carbs, and 15 grams of fiber. And it's this Kazin brand. I have never heard of that before. So I got the Fusilli, the Ziti, and the Cavatappi, which is one of my favorite types of pastas, these little curly ones. I like it for two reasons. I like the curliness, but also it's kind of has ridges on it. And typically whatever, like I love it because like it feels like it grabs onto the sauce and I just love it, especially for like macaroni and cheese. But these all are 20 grams of protein, six grams of net carbs and 15 grams of fiber. The um, Cavatappi is 130 calories. Actually, they're all 130 calories. Yep, all 130 calories. I think the Fiber Gourmet is 100 calories. Of course, I don't know what serving size that is. This is 96 or 56 grams. So I don't, not really sure what that is, but this uses lupini flour so and fava beans. Um, so that also is a huge difference because lupini is like a bean and then it uses fava beans. So I don't know, I'm really excited to try these out. They were like, I think the regular price of them 
were like $5.99, which is about the price that you pay for the, or at least in my area, that you pay for the um, Barilla Protein Plus and the chickpea pasta, the bonza pasta, which neither one of those are lower carb. Um, the Fiber Gourmet is like $10 a box, at least whenever I've seen it. So let me know if you've tried these out, but definitely if you want it, like I said, just do a one month trial of Thrive Market just to pick up something like this and stock up and then you can cancel your membership. Okay, now this is not like new, but I don't think I've seen this in my area. Um, this is the Kodiak Blueberry Lemon Muffin Mix. I don't think I've ever seen this. I've seen like, like maybe one or two different muffin mixes, if even that, like I can't even recall. Um, but this was a really good price. This was on sale for like 40% off. So I couldn't pass it up because I thought I could definitely do something with this. Um, the Kodiak stuff, if you didn't know, it's higher protein. So this is 12 grams of protein. It's not low carb or anything, but it's definitely um, higher protein. So I thought I could probably definitely do something with this. So it's blueberry muffin. Oh, I am super excited about this. I have never seen anything like this before. So this is a pour over coffee, which I have seen some of these like pour over coffee type um, contraptions. I don't know how you would even say it, but this is a Vietnamese pour over coffee. This is peppermint mocha. You get five of them, five pour over coffees and five mocha creamers. So here's kind of what it looks like. Can you see that? So you see how it has this little thing right there and then you just sit it over the cup and then I think you just pour it over. We will definitely be trying this out. Um, I will, you'll see this in a future video and I'll show you how it works. But it looks like you get, so you get this, um, this is the creamer, which I imagine the creamer is probably high in sugar. Yes, this is 100 calories. Um, so you wouldn't necessarily, ha I mean, it's just if you wanna use this or not, but you could definitely just, um, count your points for it. And then this itself is the peppermint coffee. So this is premium Vietnamese coffee and this is the peppermint coffee. And it just, I don't know, it looks very interesting, you guys. I don't know if you can see that very well. But I just, I'm so curious about this. So you definitely will see this in a future video. We will try this out and see how it works. But this was only like, I think it was like $4.99. And it's from Copper Cow Coffee, proudly women owned. So you get five of them in here. So I didn't think that was a bad price. And you know, like I said, if it's gonna be, it looks like it's 100 calories and it does have 15 grams of added sugar. So definitely up to you if you wanna use, you know, all of that, but um, you can just, you know, just count the points and stuff for it. But the ingredients are really clean. I mean, the, the creamer ingredients, it's just milk, sugar, and cocoa powder. So that's it. So really clean. And then the rest of the stuff is not so clean. Oh, I forgot I, oh, I forgot this, that same brand, um, Kazen, also had rice that was low carb. So this is 20 grams of protein, six grams of net carbs, and 15 grams of, of fiber. And this is rice. So I forgot that I had got that as well. Now, like I was going to say, the rest of this stuff is not necessarily super healthy or Weight Watcher friendly. It's just holiday themed and definitely will be eaten in moderation on days that I am, you know, having a little bit higher point days. So we have the Boom Chicka Pop Sweet Swiss Miss Drizzle Kettle Corn. That's just sounded really good. 170 calories for one and a quarter cup. It's the thing with Boom Chicka Pop. It, you do get a lot and... I feel like it has so much flavor that you can definitely, um, you know, just be fine with just the serving size, but just a fun little thing. You want to get it for your kids, for your family. Um, but, and I don't know necessarily that I'm going to eat all these. I might actually give some of these, but I was just super curious to try them. Um, I really, really like the lesser than evil products also. Again, usually really clean ingredients. Um, this, these are the little puffs, which I think these are kind of technically for kids. Um, but I have got these before, not this flavor, but I've gotten them before and they're really good. This is the Starberry Beet. So this is only 30 calories for 23 puffs. Um, so definitely these are only four grams of carbs, no added sugar. But that's why I really like this brand because it has really good, um, ingredients. So, I mean, it's all organic cassava flour, organic avocado oil, 
Um, it does have coconut sugar in it. It uses beet seasoning. So I'm super curious about these, but yeah, I think these, like I said, I think these are kind of more geared towards little kids, but they're really good. Another lesser than evil um, thing. This probably is a little bit more <laughs> calorie. This is their chocolate candy cane popcorn. But again, I guarantee it's going to be a really clean ingredient. So it's 120 calories for three cups. And it has only two grams of added sugar. So not bad at all. So in the ingredients, you have organic popcorn, organic coconut oil, organic raw cane sugar, organic cocoa powder, and organic um, no, sea salt and sea salt. So stop it. This is good, you guys. So yeah, definitely a, this lesser than evil is definitely a smarter brand if you're going to buy any like packaged foods. Um, I just got these because I knew I was going to meet them this week in a recipe. So these are just like, they're just like craisins, like the, um, what is that brand? Ocean Spray Reduced Fat Craisins. But this one, I mean, Reduced Sugar Craisins, but this one is no sugar added. And these are just organic cranberries, no sugar added. So I'm going to use these in a chicken salad this week. Um, but it's 90 calories. Again, it has two grams of sugar, but those are natural sugars. And the ingredients, cranberries. And we have glycerin and sunflower oil. This is less than 1%. So... I wish I would have picked up more than one bag of these because these were only like $2.50. Uh, so I really wish I had done that. Thinking back now, I may actually go on there before and see if the sale's still going on. Also for, oh no, I just picked these up because they sounded good. <laughs> so these are the Lily's Hot Cocoa with Marshmallow Chips. These are no sugar, the sugar-free chips, um, chocolate chips. So I'm sure I'll find a reason to use these. Oh my gosh, you guys. I first saw this on Instagram and I um, went on, immediately went onto the website and they were sold out. I looked and looked and looked on all of my area stores and the only place I could find it was on, I think on Amazon, but it was outrageously, outrageously overpriced. I could get it through walmart.com again, way, way overpriced. And then I saw it on Thrive Market and that is the apple cider donut Catalina Crunch. You guys know I'm obsessed with this. I eat it almost every day. Um, I like, or not this kind, but the cinnamon um, cinnamon toast sugar cereal and the fruity cereal. Love it with yogurt. It's so good. And this one is apple cider donut flavor. Limited edition. Um, I cannot wait to try this. Cannot wait. I'm trying to think of what kind of, I'm thinking just like a vanilla yogurt would probably be best with this to not like overpower the apple cider donut flavor. I cannot wait. You will be seeing this next week for sure. I actually forgot that I ordered that. <laughs> and then, oh, the last thing, oh, wait, two more things. This, I just needed some black pepper. They have the best seasonings and I actually would have ordered more seasonings, but I was trying to, oh, you know what? The sale is over that they were having, because they were having like a 40% off sale on some of these things. Um, but I wanted to, I like had literally had three hours before the sale was over, before I purchased it, before I made my order. And so I just threw black pepper in there cause that was the only thing on the top of my head I knew I needed, but, um, I, I need to go on and stock up on my spices cause they have the best spices. And then they always have free gifts. So almost every single time you do an order, if you check your inbox, there's almost always a free gift in there. And this time was their organic quick oats. So this was completely free. Um, I love their oats. This is their quick oats. I've never tried their quick oats because I don't use quick oats that often. I don't feel like they keep me very full, but you can do a lot of things with oats to make, you know, keep you full. And that's like adding protein powder, adding peanut butter, just, you can do a lot of stuff to make it full. Add some like chia seeds, flax seed, you know, all that fiber stuff. Um, but they have the best oats. I love their steel cut oats. That's what I use all the time. And their old fashioned oats. I've used those quite often. Um, but I never have tried the quick oats, so like I said, because I just don't typically buy them. And that is everything for the Thrive Market haul. So let me tell you what my meal plan is for the week. Um, I'm going to use some of that pasta and I'm going to do a, um, so for my lunches, I'm going to do, I really only need to do, these will actually be for lunches and dinners because um, we have some events going on at work 
where I think um, I know at least one of the days I will not take, need to take a lunch to work. Maybe two. I'm not sure if I'm going to be participating in that in the other one. So um, for sure, one I only need lunch for um, one, two, three, four, probably four days. Um, so I'm going to do two different things, but these are also going to be for dinners as well. So I'm going to do a protein pasta. So I'm going to take some pasta sauce and I'm going to make you do the cottage cheese thing where you, um, take the pasta sauce and the cottage cheese and you mix it together, makes it a high protein like pasta sauce. I'm going to pair it with one of those low carb pastas that I just showed you. And then probably some ground turkey and I'll probably add some veggies in there as well. And that'll be one of my lunches. And then I'm going to make some chicken salad using those, um, no sugar added cranberries and then some other things in there and i'm going to get some crackers to go along with that so that'll be another good lunch or dinner um i also want to do some taco salads or taco bowls and then i'm going to do these southwest chicken wraps that just look so good um that'll be either a dinner or a lunch and then just eat like some bowls or something like that because i'm also i'm going to roast up some veggies again this week that broccoli and cauliflower onion mixture was so good. I forgot to order garbanzo beans. Um, so I probably won't be able to do those this week, but oh, I can always, I can pick some up. I may pick up some of those, but I think I'm going to do another round of roasted veggies because it was so easy and they were so good. And, um, they're easy just to throw in salads and bowls and whatnot. So I'm going to roast up some veggies again. So in meal prep, you're going to see that protein, um, uh, marinara sauce, boss pasta dish. Um, I'll just see my chicken salad and then I'll roast up some veggies. So that'll be my meal prep this week. And then just stay tuned for next week to see the rest of my meals. So let's go ahead and go in to the grocery haul from Kroger and from Safeway. Okay, so here's everything I picked up at Fred Meyer, which is my Kroger store and Safeway. So we have our mini golden potatoes here. I like to put these in the air fryer and have them with my new favorite Bold House Farms dressing, which I'll show you here in just a second. So I just cut these into quarters, put them in the air fryer. Really good. Um, I was looking for the same apples I've been getting, those dragonberry ones, but they didn't have any. So I picked up these green dragon ones, which are supposed to be sweet. I'm going to use these in my chicken salad that I'll be making for meal prep. Sugar bomb tomatoes. I'll be having those with my salads. Carrots. We have a red onion. I'm going to roast these up again this week with the broccoli and cauliflower. I forgot to pick up some chickpeas, so I'll just do just these this week for roasted veggies. Cucumber. I did pick up some already diced up peppers in case I wanted to make like an egg scramble or something like that. Some green onions. And then I did pick up three salad kits just to ramp up my veggies with my meals. So I did pick up an Asian style chopped salad kit, Southwest style chopped salad kit, and the Mediterranean one. And then also, I think I'm gonna mix these with these salads to kind of get to beef up the greens. So I got some of the red and green blend again. I've been getting this every week, it's really good. I get this at Safeway. And then some tomatoes to go in those Southwest wraps and also just to dice up and have in my salads or in like with my egg scrambles. They had these on sale at Kroger, so I picked up, they had a coupon for like two or three dollars off of these. And I thought these would be good to just throw maybe into a salad with those, um, something like that. So these are the blackened chicken breast strips. For the Southwest chicken wraps, I did pick up some of the large La Banterita carb counter tortillas. These ones are my favorite tortillas. Salsa for the taco salads. Um, for my chicken salad, I'm either gonna have it on, like one day I may have it on some of this bread, but also if in case I wanna make like avocado toast or something like that. Picked up some of the thin sliced um, Rogue River 24 grain and seeds, 70 calorie bread. Also for my chicken salad, I did pick up some of the sourdough wasa crackers, the crisp bread. The sourdough ones are one of my favorites. You can see they're very low calorie as well. For the Southwest chicken wraps, picked up some black beans. For the pasta I'll be having for one of my lunches, I did pick up the no sugar added Prego marinara sauce. I normally like the Kroger one, but I forgot to get that one. They had their own brand of the sugar-free one is one of my favorites. This is my new favorite dressing, the Bold House Fire Chili Ranch. They do have quite a few new dressings, but this is the only one I can find in my area. 
some roasted fire roasted corn to go in those Southwest chicken wraps. Guacamole for the taco salads. Picked up some more pomegranates. I like to have these in my breakfast bowls and my oatmeal. You guys know I've been putting them in my salads. So really, really love these. Uh, the Santa Fe style strips. These will be for the um, Southwest chicken wraps. I picked up the vanilla light and fit to go with that apple cider Catalina crunch fiber um, protein cereal that I already showed you from my Thrive Market haul. And then the cherry I'll just have with my other one. And then I needed some plain non fat Greek yogurt to go in my chicken salad. Some reduced fat cheese to go in with the um, wraps and for the taco salads. Fat free cottage cheese to go with that marinara and that pasta. And then I just picked up a couple of the good culture cottage cheeses. These are the ones I like to eat, um, just a plain or with other things on them. This is the 2% egg whites for the breakfast scrambles 99 percent lean ground turkey to go with that pasta i'll be making for meal prep and then they had their happy eggs on sale at kroger for only like 3.99 so i went and picked up one of those and that is everything so i don't really think i have anything to link down below but if i do have any of the recipes i mentioned i will link anything that i can find down below in the description box and i'll see you guys tomorrow in meal prep we'll have a few different recipes in there. So I'll see you guys then. Bye guys. Alrighty guys, so here's the puzzle so far. Days eight and nine, which I forgot to show you. It is really coming along. This one was hard. <laughs>